So now drug overdose rates in Oregon soaring nearly a year and a half after that state became the first in the country to decriminalize all drugs up to a personal use amount. That includes meth and fentanyl and heroin. Dan Springer live in our Midwest Bureau to let us know how this experiment's working out now. Hey, Dan, good morning. Good morning, Bill. The idea behind Oregon's Measure 110, which voters passed overwhelmingly in 2020, was to treat people who were drug addicted and not throw them in jail. But 16 months into this experiment, and drug overdose deaths have never been higher in the state. And here's a little surprise. Very few people have gotten themselves into drug treatment. The streets of Portland are sadly filled with people in crisis. The number of homeless who are drug addicted or mentally ill or both has been rising for several years and it's not just the state's biggest city. Officials throughout Oregon report more people battling addiction. It's got the second highest drug abuse rate in the country. Measure 110 was supposed to get those people help, but apparently that didn't mean getting them off the drugs. It was never designed to reduce our addiction rate, so it was never designed to deal with our addiction crisis. It was always uh, meant to deal with the war on drugs. Because the new law shifts $300 million from cannabis tax revenue, it can't be used to expand treatment beds. The state only matches Medicaid dollars for treatment, so the money can only go for so-called harm reduction, things like needle exchange, peer counseling, even supportive housing, and Narcan to revive someone who's having an overdose. But even that's not working very well. Last year, there were 1,069 overdose deaths in Oregon, a 41% increase, and as I said, an all-time high for that state. And that's 25% higher than the national jump. Only around 100 people have called a hotline designed to get them into services. Very few have gotten into treatment, which is completely voluntary. A former assistant to two federal drug czars is not surprised. It is predictable, was predicted, and now, unfortunately, is coming to pass in front of our eyes. It is a tragedy, and it's a self-inflicted wound, I fear. It is the wrong path. As you would expect, drug arrests have plummeted in the state of Oregon, but other types of crime have gone way up. We have a lot more arrests for uh, property crime, and we've never seen more violent crime in the state of Oregon with murders still way up. And police tell me that a lot of that's connected to drug turf wars. Bill? Wow. Dan Springer, thank you.